Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you who've liked, who subscribed and commented at my channel. A very big thank you to you all. And if you haven't already, if you're watching this video, please click the subscribe button. Today we're going to be looking at this Samsung Free. It is part of the Family Hope series and this is the American stuff. So Looking at this fridge, you might be thinking, why would I need to get a fridge with a tablet, for example? Or why would I need to get a fridge that allows me to see what's inside? The reason why we bought this fridge was because we were renovating our kitchen and we had an old Samsung, so we just kind of replaced it with a new Samsung. But what really attracted me was this tablet, which is the family up in front of the fridge. It basically replaces all your paperwork in terms of calendar, you know, your whiteboards and all of that. And like the name says, family of, it is really a family of. So you can easily look at your calendars, you can leave memos, you can use the whiteboard. We will go all into that in a minute. But first of all, let me talk about the fridge itself and the way it looks. It's very attractive. I like the fact that it's got it's endless. The doors are in, they're well tucked in. And that's the reason why I really like the doors because you can you, you don't see the doors, which goes with the style of my kitchen. Okay, now let's go into the fridge. I'll show it inside the fridge. So this is inside the fridge, and this is the first shelf. And I've put this mat on there just to make sure, just to make it a bit easier for me when I'm washing the fridge because it's quite a big size fridge so this makes things and it gives it a nice pretty look as well but anyway the size is very very good you can see it takes a lot of stuff in there secondly we've got another shelf here in total we've got four shelves in this fridge this is the second shelf on here very good size it comes with this egg crate as well and this um, bottle or wine holder which I don't really use, but it's a good idea. We use it once in a while. And the next one is this shelf here. Also very, very good size. I've put a green mat in there. They just look pretty with different colors, I think. And the last shelf, which is the fourth one, is a little bit smaller, but it's fine. We just use it for yogurts and puts a bit of eggs in there. So, and the next one up is we've got two drawers if i open this first drawer and the only thing i don't really enjoy is when you're taking out the bucket here this drawer you need to make sure that the fridge is completely wide open for you to have enough access to it to take it out the same thing goes for the drawer at the bottom as well unless you've got the door open completely like this you don't really get to have enough access to it that's okay on the door you've got five shelves and they're reasonably good size actually and they're not that deep i can understand that because of the tablet at the back of the fridge and you've got um you've got a big drawer here and you've got a very slim one here we barely ever use this but it's there if you need it so we've got two cameras there's one here and there's another one here as well this allows you to see what's inside the fridge when you're out and about so you can view from the app to see what's inside the fridge. Uh, you can also view it from the all by the back of the fridge. I'll show you more when we get to look at the tab later. So this is the fridge. This is everything about the fridge. The only other thing that um, I would have loved for them to put a bit more lights in the fridge at the moment, you've only got this light, which it's fine for the fridge when it's empty like this you can see things a bit more easily but when you go over to the freezer my freezer is a little bit overloaded you it gets a bit dark in there now let's talk about the freezer this is the first thing you see about the freezer which is the dispenser i really like the look of it i like the fact that it hasn't got any spill stopper because that just creates a lot of skills and water and a little bit of mess as far as I'm concerned. But here you've got water dispenser, you've got a cube ice and you've got a crush ice. So for the water dispenser, I'll show you how it works. If you've got a white mug, it works brilliantly well, just push it in and then you get water out. 
If you've got a tall mug, it's quite good as well because you've got enough distance in there and if you, you'll be able to get water. But if you've got a narrow mouth, you might find it a little bit challenging because you won't be able to do that easily. Especially with the girls, it kind of splits. So my advice would be use your hands and then you'll be able to get the water easily. If you want to get cube ice, press on that. You, have, you will see that would go blue and you can lean against it, give it a couple of minutes and it will start to drop nice if you want crushed highs just press on it and that will go blue as well this takes a little bit longer than the cube eyes because it has to crush it first but you can hear it you can see and there you go what I also really like is if you want to clean this, you can lock the water, just all down on this for three seconds and it would put it on lock. That way you can clean without spooting water all over the place. Secondly, what it's also really good for us when we've got little kids around and you know it's quite attractive for them to try and play with. So if you put it on lock, if you lock the water, it means that they can play with it but you won't have any spiltage, which is really good. So now let's go into inside the freezer itself. Let's talk about the door first. And what I really like about this is this water ice dispenser. What you can do if you're having a barbecue or if you're having a party, you can grab this very easily, like that. Very easy to grab and you can use that. So this, I really like the fact that you can easily take it out and put it back in. Also, they've got instructions here, so you can have a look at how to take out the ice bucket and how to put it back, which is quite good. You've got another nice little shelf here. It takes quite a few things. At the moment, we've just got ice cream in there. And a really tiny shelf down here. Um, at the moment, we don't really use it, but it's there. It's a really small one, but it's there either way. So now, I'm going to go into the freezer itself. This is what the freezer looks like. And just like the fridge, it's also got four shelves and two buckets. And you've got a twin and metal cooling system as well just like you've got in the fridge and this also makes sure that you've got the same temperature running throughout the freezer so things are able to stay frozen for a long time at the same temperature which is really good so th the sizes are really really decent you can see you can pack as many things as much as possible you can adjust the shelf only on this top shelf but apart from that everything in the house is a pretty good decent size so I'm going to go down to the drawers now. you got the same issue here, you have to make sure you open the door completely for you to be able to get this house properly. You've got loads of things in there, it's a really, really good decent sized drawer. And same goes for the one below here as well, really decent size you've got in there. So I also wanted to mention that the doors are very heavy. And when they're left open for a long time, they make that really nice song. I don't know if you can hear it. Now that we've spoken about the freezer, I'm going to go and talk about the family op. So this is the op. What we have is like a home screen, which you normally have on your phone. This is completely customizable as well. So I'm going to go into our apps and kind of walk you through the ones we use often. So the first one here would be calendar. This is really good because you can easily see what's going on on the day. So for example, it tells you it's the Queen's birthday today. Also, if you've got busy lives with kids and school schedules as well, you can put in what you need to take into school in here. So when I have a breakfast, you can have a quick look at what needs to go in that day. And that way you won't forget to take things you need to take with you. So I find that very, very useful. Next one up is internet. So if you've got a Samsung phone, you don't need to go into the internet to get to YouTube. You can just cast from your phone. But if you haven't, all you need to do is go into the browser, tap on YouTube, and there you are. It's actually got really good speakers. So if I play that, for example, can you hear that? The speakers are really, really good for a fridge speaker. I reckon they've done a good job there. Let's go back to the next app we're going to talk about is Morning Brief, which I quite like. Basically, you can customize this to everyone who's got an account on this app. And what it would do, if I press that, it would tell me 
what the calendar is saying, what's on my calendar for the day. It would tell me if there's any food that's expiring and also it would give me the news for the day. So I'm going to press start and you have that. And it's going to tell me what's on my calendar. It's Queen's birthday. You have an all day event, Queen's birthday. Good news. I haven't got any food expiring. expiring in the next three days. Fab. And then next. on here, you would try and read out all the main headlines and the news for me today. I think that is absolutely cool. Just a quick reminder of what's going on if you haven't got your phone on you. Really good. So let's go back to the apps again. So this memo here, my kids, as you can see, they love it. They make all manner of memos for me. It's really, really good. They play about with it. I mean, if I'm making breakfast or if I'm making dinner, sometimes they use this to kind of while away time just to have a bit of fun on the, on the fridge, which is really cool. What's really fun about here is you can choose different colors and you can draw, you can write, in different colors you can write it had emojis as well which is really cool my kids they absolutely love this you can you know you can learn abc's as you're sitting down there basically it's a really really fun app and you can also record you can record if i press record you can record something as you stand in front of here and just mark about with it really it's a really good one so i just stop that and it would let you save when you're finished and it would be on the screen on your memo screen which is really really good you can also put in a memo from your phone and cast it straight to the fridge which is brilliant as well i'll show you how we do that in a bit as i mentioned earlier you can view your the inside of your fridge from the app here also from your phone so i'll show you all you need to do is go to view inside like that there's a shortcut for it and there you are, you've got, you can see everything that's inside the fridge. I think that's really cool. So if you're asking about shopping and you're not sure if you've got something, you can use this to say, oh, I've got a little bit left. Oh, actually I did buy one or maybe. So you, instead of you having to call someone to go downstairs, check in the fridge to see if you've got something in the fridge, you can easily do it by yourself from your phone, which is actually a really good one. Also, what you can do is press on that Oh, I do need to buy that and say um, add to shopping list and then you create a shopping list and then you go butter okay send and that will add it to my shopping list which is really cool so let's go to the shopping list from the apps now so you can see is put that butter on there so you can have as many things as you like I've got different shopping lists but I must tell you my experience the first time I tried to use this shopping list this was many months ago now I think it's a lot better so I did with excitement first time put all my list into the shopping list and then went shopping. I put it over a couple of weeks. So it was one of those ones where anytime I needed an item or we're running on an item, I just put it onto the shopping list from my phone. So got to the shops, got to the supermarket and then brought out my phone to look at the shopping list and it completely crashed on me. So I lost all my shopping list, so I'm not sure. I think now, since then, I've not really used the shopping list option because I had a really bad experience. But before I decided to do this review, I have tested it out. I can tell that they've either fixed the bug that was wrong with the app at the time, or they, they must have fixed something because it works really well now. Um, other apps that I do enjoy, I'm always on Pinterest most of the time, so it's good to know that I can easily come on here also and look at what I've been looking at on my Pinterest. It's really good. Okay, if you're going to get a camera doorbell, it's worth mentioning that they only support Ring at the moment, but if you've got a Ring, it would work brilliantly for you. You'll be able to see who's on the door. Another really good app here is a sky scanner. So maybe you're speaking to someone on the phone when you're in the kitchen and someone mentioned, oh, we're looking at tickets going somewhere. Just come to the fridge. Go London, type in where you want to go here, say New York, there you go, search for flights. You can have a quick look at how much tickets are going to be depending on where you want to go to or where you're coming from. Smart recipes are really good because when you click on a recipe like this one, 
it would show you everything, all the ingredients or all the ingredients that you do need so you can straight away add everything into your shopping list. It will say you can either send it to a meal planner or you can send it to your shopping list, which is really, really good. You can, you can select which one and say send. And that way when you go to your shopping list, everything will be there, which is really good. Also tells your direction of how to cook it and any similar recipes as well. The really good feature here is cook mode. What this does is allows you to follow the recipe by listening step by step. So once you press on the start Georgia button, vegetables into large chunks. It, would, easily skewed. it would tell you what to do so you don't have to keep clicking with your wet hands or greasy hand on the screen. Also here it has a timer so you can kind of figure out how much time it's going to take you to screw so that then if you do that it will move to the next screen in the next 30 minutes or so. So it's a really cool app you've got here. So one of my favorite app is the Spotify here. So you can listen to music on here very easily. Like I said earlier, the speakers are very good and you can listen to music all day long while you're in the kitchen, which is really good, it's brilliant. Another really good fun app for the kids is the whiteboard. And um, just like it says, it's a whiteboard and you can add on there and put in with different, you can write different things on here. You can have more colors as you wish. On here, there's different things you can play with. On here, it's, it's, you can pick an account. You can do some rubbing off. You can write a title. You can put emojis on there. You can have pictures and you can record or you can just discard if you don't want to save it. And I'm just gonna discard that and then it just goes away and you have another board this. So I'm going to show you how you can do things on your phone and transfer it straight to the three. I'm going to go to the family of and here you can say all and I can have a look and go to memo and once I'm on memo I can decide to add and I can say I can say thanks for watching and also I can also put a record you guys are awesome and save that so when we do go to the fridge, we would be able to go back to the apps, go to memo, and there you have it. That's what I typed. And also you can play. So there you have it. That's absolutely brilliant. If you've got what we call smart things, what Samsung calls smart things, basically here you can hide anything that you've got at Samsung that's like smart. If you've got a washing machine, if you've got a dishwasher, if you've got a dryer, if you've got any of those appliances, what you can do is also add them to this app, which means when your washing machine is done, you would be able to see it on the fridge here, which I think is absolutely brilliant. We haven't got any of those appliances, but if you do, it's what's bearing that in mind. You can also see what they're doing on your phone and also on your fridge. They've got really good applications on here. You've got the Amazon Music, you've got the um, Tesco Club Card, which I think is brilliant, and you've also got Uber Samsung, so you can also include all of this on your apps. So I'm going to talk about the fridge manager. Click on it, you can easily change the temperature of your fridge just by clicking on that, same as the, that's the freezer. Same as the fridge, you can easily just change the temperature which I think is absolutely brilliant and just click on save. Also, if you need, at the moment we need to replace our filter, that's the reason why you can see that's in red, but basically it tells you everything is functioning well, what temperature is outside, um, you're making ice is on because you can switch it off if you want, and what temperature is in your fridge. So I think that's a very useful and very straightforward information you get there. Also, you get notifications with this bell here. So if you click on it, you'll see all the notifications that I have included the Nespresso app. I've got a Tesco app as well. And it kind of just tells me that I also added a new memo and tells you what time you did it. You can also just clear it all by pressing on clear all. So that's most of the things about the food. Another really fun app that we've got here is Bixby. So let's go to how Bixby works. 
So it's basically kind of very similar to a Google Home or an Alexa, for example. So you basically give it a command and it would try its best to follow your command. So for it, you can use it for calculators, you can use it for dates, you can use it to find your phone, you can use it for internet. Hi Bixby, take us to YouTube. There you go, let me do another one. Hi Bixby, what's the colour of the sun? Sure, here's what the internet says. So that is how Bixby works. So you can be in the house if you're looking for a recipe and you don't want to click on the screen, just ask Bixby and we find it. So another really cool thing about this fridge is the fingerprints. It's really good. I've got little ones and they always put fingerprints all over our old fridge. But this one that it's got a special coat on it, it still gets fingerprints but it's not, it's not as bad as it used to be. So it's quite decent, you can see, you can put hands all over it, but it still looks really, really good. Also, I'll tell you a little secret, I do shine my fridge with baby oil and it's the reason why it looks so slick. Now that you've seen the features of this Samsung family of, leave us a comment below to let us know what your best features are. It'll be nice to hear from you. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, press the subscribe button and also press the bell so you can get notification every time I bring out a new video. Also click the like button if you've liked anything you've seen in this video today. Thanks for watching and see you later.